it started actually at, in 2014 and nobody believed that someday it's going to be full invasion. It happened on 24th of February uh, 2022. My name is Anna. I'm from Ukraine. I remember this day I woke up because of explosion next to the apartment complex I was living. I woke up because the glass in my windows was shaking like it's going to fall out. I was praying and I was asking God, what should I do? Like, give me, like, give me right mind to take right decision. And then we decided with my fiance that I have to leave Ukraine. It was a long journey and we spent four days in the car, living, sleeping, trying to find, find food. And it was a long journey to, to Poland. I used to work seven last seven years before war started for nonprofit, and then of course I lost my job. But this guy, he knew he saw my post on Instagram and Facebook that I'm in Poland, and he said, "Do you want to come and help? We're going to organize a camp." Yeah, I said, "Of course," and we started this office camp for people. We were helping them to figure out where they want to go next, and then. This guy, he heard about a refugee camp organized by Christian at the border in Tijuana. And then he asked me, do you want to go to United States? I made journey to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to Mexico City, from Mexico City to Tijuana. And we were just on the line waiting for fingerprints, photos, they put stamps in, in our passports and then let us in to United States. Why Arizona? Uh, I have a friend of mine who moved here to United States a long time ago when she saw what was happening and she said, well, we can host you. So that's why I came to Arizona. And she was, I was her teacher in Sunday school at our church. So God made a plan a long time ago. Luba and Darola Nixon. When she said that she was leaving Kiev, I was following her story. We were just like watching Instagram because she was posting about the whole process and what it was like. So I was asking questions. At that point, we were actively praying. I mean, I think I was saying probably something anyone would say, well, let me know if I can help. Like I'm, you know, here in Arizona, but it actually turned out like we could do something to help. And for us, um, for us personally, and for our families, hospitality is a really big thing. Hospitality from Christians specifically is a really powerful way to express the gospel. It's cool that it's City of Grace. We really get it, you know, and, and it's, it's shown, it's sincere, it's believable. Um, I love the fact that we're part of a community, a community in the body of Christ where we can send people here and I don't have to worry. <laughs> it's not go here and talk to this person. No, <laughs> just show up. I don't have to worry, just show up. And I think so many people are so broken, so many families are broken and home is supposed to be your safe place. So a church can be that place for people and when it's welcoming and there's people with signs and just saying it's a very, uh, reminds you of like a home, that it's supposed to be that way, that it is safe. It's a safe place to come no matter how you are. It was my first day I came to, to City of Grace together with Nixon's family. No matter where you are, you can come to church and you know, here are your brothers and sisters and you're gonna be accepted and welcomed and you can be involved and and you belong. From what I have experienced during my life, I can definitely testify that God is alive and he's looking after us. And I'm a living, living testimony from my birth to now that he knows what is better for us. Yeah, trust Jesus and he's going to make the way.